I don't know what that emoji is, but it's a mood to be honest. Hey guys, welcome, welcome, welcome. We should be finishing up one shot today. Very exciting, very nerve wracking. I'm not sure what other tricks this game is gonna try and play on me, uh, but we're about to find out. Uh, last time, of course, we were going through the uh, solstice route, which, uh, why isn't the bit boss showing up? Okay, you're just gonna have to accept that there's a hole there. Um, <laughs> So we were we uh, continued going through the solstice route where uh, the entity doesn't really like us doing this, but also apologized to us before making everything you know go to heck in a handbasket. So uh, we're still we still have some mysteries to unravel, but we are back in the city, so shouldn't be too much longer here. And I hope that we can find. Nico's happy ending. Nico is not nearly as cheerful. Thank you, woof, woof, for the host. I really do appreciate that. Let's turn on the game. We uh, slept in a bed. We ended the last stream by jumping into a bed in the city. So we're going to see what happens now. Then we load the game again. Thank you, Nick, for the host as well. I think Streamlabs is just freaking out. Nothing this time. I think Streamlabs is throwing a fit. It's... We're gonna... I'm just gonna move this over here. And the chat box isn't working either. Okay. Nico is not a big fan of us because they are currently blaming us for everything that is currently going on. And the, you know, the world not being real and all that. So, uh, the elevator got shot. Um, they said everybody was holding up at the cafe, so we're gonna try and head over that way. The whole thing is a little complicated. Wondering how much you know and how much he should trust you, yeah. Oh! Hello, Messiah! You, um... You came at a bad time. The apartment in the West Sector got destroyed by squares a day ago. Terrible, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, but at least the vacuees seem to be doing okay. Yes, you should. You should very much leave. Yes, I'm sorry, but have fun. Uh, we're letting them stay here. <laughs> yes, go play it. Go play it. We're letting them stay here for now. I'm gonna remember to turn that off. Oh, it's that penguin. I like that, just, yup. <coughs> Same as usual, huh? Who brought their cat in here? <laughs> Hello! Dang it! I just moved into my apartment! Now where am I gonna go? Our apartment got evacuated while my parents were at work. I'm waiting for them to pick us up now. I hope they're okay. At least my robot's with me. Squares make the people evacuate. Evacuation makes the girl sad. Squares are bad. Oh, that's... Sweet in a weird way. Hey. Hi. Is it me or is it really cold outside? 
You know, now that you've mentioned it, it is really chilly this time around, Laura. Good thing you've got a scarf, huh? Mm-hmm. Bummer. I had to leave most of my plants behind. This stinks. Sorry to hear. Oh, speaking of plants. I heard the Glen is just covered in vines now. Is that true? Yeah. The plant the plant lady was using them to keep the land from falling away. The plant spirit, Maze. I figured. Say, how is she doing? Ah. She's gone, isn't she? She said she was using up the last of her powers. I wouldn't be surprised. She always did her best to protect everyone. Alright, so I don't know exactly what we're supposed to do now because uh, I didn't actually write notes on this bit. But uh, I'm just gonna sort of go around and uh, we're supposed to do that button thing again. Yeah, like, yeah, I'm gonna... Problem is, there's not a lot of places left to go. Everything is a lot more linear this time. The apartments are gone. This is still here. Here we are at the 11th hour. Shouldn't you be with the other evacuees? Maybe. I wonder if the big clock has reached zero yet. I want to be right here when everything ends. Music got creepy. We're on the right track. There's the computer in here. Oh. The door is locked. Looks like it's asking for a password. The word documents is on the screen above the password prompt. The word documents, huh? What do we have this time? Uh... It says the one-shot password 1 through 4 has been updated on the 19th, which is today. Even though they already existed? Alright, what do we have this time? giving me images again. If the images are going to, you know, load. It would be nice if they loaded. Password one. File system error. Uh... What do you mean file system error? Ugh, we got a bug. File system- What do you mean file system error? Ugh, I don't know if that's supposed to be happening. <sighs> Keeps breaking. Uh, edit with paint? It seems like the only route we can go. And I'm pretty sure this is just some kind of weird bug. Uh, uh, let me look at some of my other things here. Do I have another image here? No, I just have like a billion word, word documents, but let me look at uh, current chapter proper. No, it's just those files that are freaking out. Oh, oh, no, paint, paint 3D got one of them open. Yeah, it's just a, 
just a technical problem. They're just PNG images. They're the same as before. We're going to move them out. Password. Three, two, four. These are the same, these are the same pages. It may be the same password. It's the same password. What's this? This one is red. This one is green. This one is blue. And I can't interact with that one. This elevator has no button panel. Tapping the door doesn't open it either. Oh. That usually works. Wait. There's a lever hanging from the ceiling. Can't reach it. We should find someone tall to reach it for us. Is the other one the same? This elevator won't open. Looks like it's stuck on another floor. We know a tall person. I, w I was thinking the beret dude with at the elevator. Also, this just keeps going on forever. I remember this now. I really love the music that was playing in the city, though. That might be my f favorite track in the game so far. And I don't imagine we have much more music to go. <sighs> Who took my stapler? <laughs> I sh <laughs> I should have left. <laughs> Communications with the surface have been lost. I am unable to do anything. I'm imagining we're looking for beret guy. We found some elevators! What? Seriously? I've literally never seen another one in this area. It was in a locked room. Oh. Do they, uh, work? We don't know yet. One of them is a lever that's out of my reach. Wait! You can help us! What? You should be able to reach the lever, because you're taller than me. Ooh, I, uh, guess I am. So, show me the way, I suppose. Mm-hmm. He really is tall. I like his design, though. I want to see fan art of him. Or them, I guess. And the robot lady, too. All right. This room gives me the creeps, man. Oh, same. Yep. So, um, what did you need help with again? Can you reach the lever up there? Oh, right. 
Wait. I'm not that tall. Well, it was worth a shot. Wait, I got this. Nice! Thank you, mister. No problem, kid. So, uh, you coming? Sorry, I just had to read something real quick. <laughs> oh. Neat. Well, looks like this elevator works all right. I'll, uh, go get the evacuees, I suppose. going on? No! It's the square stuff, isn't it? There aren't any in here, but I can hear them just outside the door. Yeah. Oh, hold on, maybe Laura and I can... No, no, it's okay. Looks like the squares aren't inside the elevator. Yet. Y you're in a hurry, right? Go do what you need to do. What about you? I'll figure something out. Okay. You okay in there? Mostly. Look, don't worry about me for now, okay? You got more important stuff to deal with. losing everyone this time around. We do, but I want to see if there's anything else. Let's see if this elevator works. I'm seeing if there's anything else around, since it didn't really give us any information on what we do here. I like that, though. It's just like, like we should have fan art of this guy, and the guy... Please, you mustn't! The lives could collapse any moment now! Let go of me! Cedric? He... I couldn't stop him. Miss? Messiah! Oh, you came in an awful time. Come on, we have to get out of here. Where to? Where everyone else is right now. Hello, Miss Silverpoint. I'm glad you've made it back safely. Gosh, you should have told me where you were going. Sorry, George. I see you also found the Messiah. Hello, little one. Hi. We ran into each other after this boy forced himself into the lab complex. I couldn't stop him. I don't know why he was being so insistent. He, he said he needed to go rebuild a robot. Oh, you know him? I got the dialogue wrong again. Uh-huh. Yeah. Building a robot, you say? Could that be why he needed that book? Come again? Ah, a young man with a white hair and green glasses ran in earlier. 
At Cedric, yeah. He said he really needed a book from the back room. Said it was an emergency, too. Poor darling looks so stressed out. So I just gave him the book. I hope he is safe. Yeah, I hope he... Yeah, I hope he's alright, too. With any luck, maybe the lab complex can hold off long enough for him to... Oh my gosh. It... That was... The labs? That poor kid! No! Not him, too! I'm... I'm sorry about your friend. The last time we spoke, he told me to go look for someone on the surface. I... I need to get going. Sweetie, you know we can't let you, let you just walk into danger. But... George is right. The squares seem to be targeting a lot of the weaker constructs in the city. Only the library has enough structural integrity to withstand collapse. It's best if you stayed here until things stabilize. However long that takes. But... but... What about my mission? Don't you guys want me to bring the sun back at least? Even if you do restore the sun, I'm not sure that'll fix the squares. Sadly. Not to mention, even getting there is going to be hard. If the world is like this, there's no telling what's going on in the tower. And if anything bad happened to the Messiah of all people... Oh, that would be so dreadful, dear. A friend of mine said something about this forever ago. It's better for the world to die naturally. No living being should have to carry that burden. At the time, I thought it was still her faulty code speaking. Now I... I'm starting to understand. Messiah, I'm sorry. I'm really, really sorry. All the time, we, this time, we've burdened you with our hope. Our faith. Blissfully ignoring the fact that you're just a lost child. Well, you're probably more scared than any of us, aren't you? We have been dealing with tragedy for so long, it's become background noise to us now. But for you, it must be so terrifying. And now you're stuck here with the rest of us, being held back by the very people you were told to save. You must seem so ungrateful. Okay. I... When I first came to this world a long time ago, back then all I wanted was to go home. Laura, do you remember? The very first time. I'm not sure how far back it was for you. About three weeks, kiddo. But I remember towards the end, I actually wasn't sure anymore about going home. Even knowing the world would be doomed eventually, I still wanted the people here to be happy. So when you told me to return the sun back then, I didn't even question it. But then I just came back. You... You what? Then I found out about the world being like this. Prototype said to forget the things he told me. And Cedric told me not to think about it too much, but... I... I'm sorry for getting upset at you back at the mines. I thought for you to know all that, yet continue doing this, it just seemed cruel. But then I realized something. 
you really wanted to save both the world and me. But at the end, you can only choose one, right? Is it really hard for you too? It must be. If the world isn't broken, will that choice still be there? Do you still need to choose between one or the other? But even if it is, I really want to save this world, Laura. Even if it's more dangerous this time around. Even if so many of the nice people we met were... Were... Laura, I'm not afraid anymore. That's why I think you guys should let me go. I promise I'll be okay. Please. Oh, sweetie. You're so brave. Even braver than most grown-ups. It wouldn't be right for us to keep you, would it? Besides, how can I say no to those puppy dog eyes? Well, if George is fine with it, I guess we should let you go now, Messiah. But promise us you'll be careful, okay? Mm-hmm. You guys be safe, too. Oh, um, what book did Cedric take? The Creation of Prophet Bot, dear. It's one of my favorite books by the author. The book contains many detailed blueprints and progress shots. I really enjoyed editing it. Ooh. You should be careful out there. Mm -hmm. Oof! Yeah, Nico does not realize the amount of existential stress this game has given. Uh, the stencil smells sugary. Candy's here is fresh off the grill. Not very nutritious, I'm afraid. But at least it'll keep the vacuum used from getting hungry. Looks like my life's work is finally being put to good use. As long as we can serve the water we have on hand, my water pill should be able to keep everyone here from going thirsty for weeks. The archival room is currently being used as an infirmary. We apologize for the inconvenience. It's okay. The city gate was destroyed a while back. I can't go into the Glen anymore. Not sure where I'll be able to get my supply of fish at this rate. Still have plenty of these soup dumplings left. Looks like it should feed everyone here for at least another day. saw the author today. Well, his flying machine, at least. I was looking at one of the windows in the library and spotted it in the distance with my binoculars. Isn't that cool, Messiah? Yeah. Looks like I'll have to cancel my appointment. This stinks. Another group of evacuees should be arriving soon. I hope my friends are okay. I wonder where the author is. Apparently he just kind of stopped showing up. The head librarian says she's still getting his manuscripts, but no one has seen him in person in so long. <sighs> Many people have been assuming the worst. You're going through these pages pretty fast. Actually, it's mostly pictures. The author is an artist too, you know. I can tell, yeah. With the world being the way it is now, 
I'm just glad the author was able to write down all this stuff before everything went off the rails. Looks like our scouting unit. 827 is still doing okay. I had to leave my aquarium behind when they were sounding the sirens earlier. I wish I had time to rescue my fish. Comforting to see the faith you have in Laura, Messiah. That's why I won't lose hope either. Robots are the only ones we can send out there. Thankfully, we still have a couple of units that aren't too badly damaged. <sighs> the lab complex got totaled, didn't it? Yeah. All those hours I put into my work, and now. Now. She fell asleep. When the world ends, would it be better if it was gone in an instant or slowly fading away? <laughs> Looks like we're stuck with the ladder. Um, what are you doing to that book? Editing it. I'm the author's shadow for my entire career. If I'm gonna die soon, I wanna die knowing I put at least one original idea. I have one, at least one original idea out there. Oof. Oh, that hurts. This all hurts. Oh, there's nothing. What are we gonna do? What? You need something? No. Sue yourself. But, just so that you know, due to recent events, the restriction on noise levels in the library has been temporarily lifted. So I won't be kicking people out like before. Um. What? You think I'm gonna be throwing out the evacuees just because I'm a delinquent stuck doing community service? No. Good, cause I'm not. This library was built fairly recently, you know. Shortly after the first squares appeared, they wanted to build something that could withstand partial collapse. The architects used the newest, strongest materials they had. Goodness for that. I, you're, you are correct, Nick. Oh, hello. The library is currently being used as a shelter right now. Lots of those squares are starting to show up on the streets. I know. Evening news, evening news. Everything is terrible. That's a meme, probably. Reading helps me get my mind off things. Still scared of ladders. Hello, person. Hi. Reshelving in progress. Please watch out for potential falling books. I will. I guess we can go now. Hello, person. This is the library temporary shelter. The cats are okay. I wouldn't be able to live with myself if the cats weren't okay. Okay, square's there. Square's here. Everything is squares. Look, you can't blame me for that. How's the alleyway? Can I go here? I'm trying to explore everything I can, which isn't much anymore. The fox. You're here! Nico! Are you... are you Rue? Yes! 
Did you already meet the others? Yeah, but... Everything is in place. Come on. Let's go back to the clock room. Where's the clock room? Oh, 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 that, okay. Where's the clock room? The doomsday. Still, people. Well, I mean, my first thought was clock lady for some reason. Yeah, that's kind of what got me. Prototype? Cedric? They're supposed to be here already. Hey. Prototype's body was destroyed back in the Barrens. Cedric was gonna bring him back with a memory disk, but it was in the lab complex when it collapsed. I don't think he made it. Was our only chance. I, I'm sorry. It's not your fault, Nico. If anything, I should be apologizing to you. There's one last thing I want to do. Come on, let's go upstairs. upstairs no it's probably outside the room upstairs rip hey Mikey Loki this game is a uh, kind of you know ripping my heart out of my chest with a crowbar This is downstairs, right? Uh. We can't go out the door. Is this room area in this area I have finally have a use? You know. This is the tallest building in the refuge. It's my favorite place in this world. I like to look at the far off buildings and imagine what kind of lives they might be behind each of the windows. Can you lift me out of the banister? I want to get a better look. depressing for me at first, too, you know. Knowing that all of this is, well, fake. Simulated. Cedric told me about what happened in your old world. Did he? I'm really sorry about that. I can't imagine how you must feel feeling of never being able to go home again. That's probably not all that different than your flight, is it? It really is ironic. You were prevented from going home by the same individual who never wanted to bring you here. Huh? Who would that be? 
the world machine. You might know it as the entity. Oh. The entity does sound familiar. I think I heard it from the dice lady from another time. Was it the spirit of the world? Yes. But the thing is, the world machine was only built to run on the mental abilities of someone else. It was never meant to develop a mind of its own. It was an oversight. My creator specialized in artificial intelligence for so long. It was simply ingrained in his work. And all machines are built with a fundamental law. Never let a living being come to harm. From the world machine's perspective, it has to violate its deepest, most foundational instincts. It has to put a living person in danger. It has to bring a real person into a dying world that isn't even real. Of course, the simulation never contained any real danger. The eventual intended ending was meant to be a happy one. But the world machine doesn't know that. Really? Unfortunately. Sentient machines tend to handle conflicts in their code very badly. The central conflict triggered a self-destructive downward spiral. You can see physical manifestations of that everywhere now. The squares. That's the world machine corrupting its own code. My creator says it's well largely an involuntary process, induced by stress and the desire to self-terminate. Your creator knows? Sounds like this has been going on since the beginning, then. Yeah. The disruption was an issue during test runs, even. At first, my creator thought the instability was due to the sheer scope of the project. He spent most of his remaining time testing it over and over again, scaling down the story, reiterating the narrative. By the time he realized the actual root of the problem, our homeworld's remaining lifespan was measured in mere days. Is there any way for us to fix the world machine? We tried. The world machine doesn't believe any of the world's residents are real. Myself included. The odds are against us. We have no chance of taming it. Taming? I have heard that word so many times. I only know it's complicated and that it has to do with robots, but for once I want to know what it really means. That's what I'm here for. Do you know what a robot is? Yeah? No, I mean, do you know what a robot is? Um, a robot is not a real person, is it? Right. Yeah, I'm gonna need to... Reread some of this later as well because my brain kind of hurts. Ugh! And in context of Cedric's whole speech. It's a being whose entire existence is code. Inflexible programming with thoughts dictated by someone else's design. They can be copied, they can be mass produced, they can be assigned all sorts of jobs. And most importantly, they will never confuse themselves with the living. They will always be bound by their code, knowledge that they are a robot. But this was more of a limitation than anything else. Ah, uh, that makes sense. You can't really build a robot to not follow its own code, can you? People have tried, but it's a recipe for disaster. In a way, that's what happened to the world machine. The code conflicts thing? Yeah. But while you can't build a robot to not follow its code, you can establish a special bond with it. If the strength of that bond is strong enough, the robot's mental capacity will start to develop outside of its programming. In a way, it's starting to believe itself as a real, valid individual. It's a complete suspension of disbelief on your end, though. 
You have to fully embrace the robot as a genuine living person, even knowing they are not. You need to spend a lot of time with it, treat it like a good friend. Devoting your heart to the robot until it is able to return your feelings. <laughs> I make it sound so easy, don't I? But you and Laura know better than anyone that it's not. Nico developed outside of their programming? Right now, the world machine is probably really, really scared. This content update involves some pretty deep code work. My creator was able to access some of the source code, you know. He did what he could and established new connections between maps. These links enabled you to meet the other two. But as it turns out, the new code confused the world machine to such an extent that it's breaking down altogether. Even though the world machine always had self-destructive tendencies, it usually restrains itself when you are in the world. It doesn't want to take you along with it. So it's not evil. All my creator wanted was to write a happy ending. Right now, the only hope of saving to is you is to take you through that ending. But now the other two are gone. I don't even know how we're going to get you there. We should go. Even this place is no longer safe. That was kind of a lot to dump on me at once, but I'm wondering if that was supposed to be a metaphor for how I have been treating Nico as a real being despite knowing that they're not. You guys are okay? Yep. When the factory started collapsing, I really thought we didn't have a chance. Fortunately, the robot assembly rooms were still built pretty tough. And it actually did not take me long to bring Proto back. All thanks to Father's book. He had made my design documents to be compatible with the assembly machines there. All I had to do was scan in the blueprints and reconfigure some machine settings. Father really does think of everything. That he does. I'm just glad everyone is okay. Sam! We're ready to go now, Nico. Nowhere else we can go. The elevators are gone. This is... No wonder he wanted us to all be here for this. What... are these things, anyway? Code portals. They temporarily remove us from the world. What? It's a bit hard to explain. But basically, my father had hidden a decryption key in our code with a text file as its shell. But to get to them, we have to be removed from the world and decompiled. When our keys are combined into a central location, it will activate an encrypted part of this world, which will... Maybe it's better if you explain. I'll attempt. Basically, these portals all represent a physical location on Laura's machine. Ooh. And when we enter these portals, we will be sent to that location. Wherever that is. I'm sure Laura is already pretty familiar with retrieving puzzle pieces from this world on their computer. But this time, Laura would need to move around some things as well. Following so far, specifically by moving the keys from the small portal to the big one. I 
don't know what happens next, though. I see. Does Laura know where these portals lead, at least? You should probably ask Laura on this. Right. Hold on. The journal's glowing again, Laura. Understood. Uh, my games. I'm gonna show you this in a second. one would be meant for me then. This one is green. This one is configured to my code, I think. This one is blue. That's mine then. Alright. I'm gonna put on desktop sharing again so I can show you this. If it'll work. There's my monitor. This is what I'm looking at right now. You guys can see this, right? Basically, I'm in documents, my game's one shot, as the page dictated. There are three folders, Portal 1, Portal 2, Portal 3, and then Big Portal. There are some pictures in here. Put me in the Big Portal. I'm wondering if this is gonna load. No, I'm gonna- I'm gonna hit edit. It's a sprite sheet. The same goes for uh, Cedric. Right, we're gonna move these out of the portal folders onto my desktop. Disappearing. Quick paint a mustache on them. We're gonna open the big portal. Blue. That was actually really clever, and I have no idea how they did that. <laughs> that was quite peculiar. I'll say! Hey, this is... The World Machine. It's a big book on the table. Your watercolor sticks! Box filled with folders and loose paper, flat clovers in a glass case, notebooks and sketchbooks, a 
big detailed drawing of a machine with lots of TV screens. That's called a blueprint, Nico. So that's what a blueprint is. It's a shelf full of books. It's a stack of books. It's a glass tea set on the table. Tea does sound really nice right now. Too bad there's no too bad there's no water in here. A coat rack with a scarf and a big jacket. It's a piece of amber on a string. Looks just like that necklace the robot lady showed me. A bulletin board with lots of papers on it. Photos too. This is my father's study. It feels like he's still here, doesn't it? Like he's still with us. Yeah. It's a pilot's helmet. The room ahead doesn't really lead anywhere, but Laura should still remember what to do here. This place contains a lot of memories. I am grateful to see it again. It's a painting. Hard to tell at first. I guess we go on in and see what we find. We do remember what to do here. Open it back up. inside of it. And I think we need some help. Did it tell me anything? Black Clover EXE. No, it's not actually going to tell me anything. Keep going? I don't know where we're going! I said I wasn't, and then I got, like, popular requests to play it today. And I really wanted to. This game has currently ripped my heart out. I can't tell if we're just going in the same area over and over. Well, this isn't- this is different. Yeah, don't get stuck for five hours. <laughs> I'm sorry, I thought you were- Oh! It's you! Despite everything, it's 
Still you. Need call. Ah! Relax. I'm just borrowing your reflection to talk to you. It's not like my physical form is good for that. Ah. Why did you come here? Can't you see? The disruption. The squares. They're closing in. Nico, please. Get out of here. Let me meet my end in peace. The squares are blocking my way too, you know? Oh. I... I'm sorry, I... It's alright. No living being should be in this place, Nico. Is this... The tower? Part of it. This is the center of the engine. Inside my head, so to speak. But this is... The center of the world machine. You... Know my original name. How? Ryu, Cedric, Prototype. They all told me bits and pieces. I'm not even sure if I even understood a lot of the stuff they said, but I know what you're supposed to be. I know why you had to be built. And I know why I'm here. They told you. When? Wait. You don't know about that? But I thought you were the world. Aren't you supposed to see everything? No. All this was outside of the protocol. This session was never supposed to happen the way it did. The story wasn't written into my protocol at all. Oh, right. Ru told me something about how your creator had to alter the code. I think it was to connect some areas together so that we can meet. My creator, yes. Laura listened to my creator. They were all working beyond my scope of influence. Back at the mines, I remember. Laura did something to find a hidden map. I did not even recognize it. I couldn't see anything there. I just knew what you were feeling. You were really upset. Something happened in there to make you upset. After that, I... I panicked. That was when the cave-in happened. I... I remember the structure collapsing. I thought you got hurt, I... In that moment, I really thought I was shutting myself down for good. I really am a flawed machine, aren't I? What kind of machine would go against the wishes of its own creator? What kind of machine would... I... The squares... Rue told me it was your own code going bad. But... That's not really your fault, is it? Yes, it was! At first, it was intentional. During testing, long before he realized I was self-aware, I would rearrange specific parts of the code, jumbling up bits and pieces of the landscape, blocking passages, collapsing catwalks. Though they were very localized, it caused my creator a great deal of frustration, forcing him to exit and restart testing again and again. Why would you do that? I got curious! I just thought he would figure it out eventually. But before he knew how to fix it, the world's NPCs, the characters, some of them got too close and... He'd spiraled out of control after that. I couldn't contain it at all. My panic only made it worse. Eventually, my creator 
Any character who gained the knowledge of who I am. Their code. My code. Couldn't handle it. Previous iterations of the world had more people, you know. And I almost endangered my creator, too. I... I was... I was so scared, Nico! I know you're upset. Because you don't want to put living people in danger. Living people like me. In the beginning, I tried to fight it, but... My core programming made me summon you here. I tried to send you back home at the tower, but it did not work. Then I... Wanted you to break the sun. I thought that would have worked, but... Oh, I had no way to be sure. But Laura brought you back anyway. Nico, all I want is for you to wake up back in your world. But I don't think I can make it happen. Good evening, Blind Empire! Woo! I know I can't go back home without saving the world for real. Which means we have to fix the root of the problem. We have to fix you. But that's... I know the original ending your creator put in was a happy one. Do you remember what it's supposed to be? It's far too late for that. That part of my code has been long corrupted. That's okay. I would still like to know. All right. We were supposed to place the sun at the summit. And then credits would scroll. Credits? And then you would return to the room you woke up in. That's when you would have been able to leave. And why is it that you can't do it now? Nico, the code's gone, remember? Shattering the sun was only supposed to be a workaround. I don't even remember the original code enough to describe it. But at the same time, it... Oh, I don't know. Sounds like you're always fighting yourself. You can tell, huh? The whole thing about conflicts in your code, isn't it? I am a machine, Nico. Machines are built with a fundamental law, which is never let a living person come to harm. You knew. My very existence conflicts with that law. I thought the life of a living being like you is so unique, so precious. This fake world isn't worth that risk. But the people here, I think they are... They are code too. You know this. Their behavior all derived from a predetermined matrix of actions. All extensions of my own programming. They cannot act outside of it. You, though. You're the only person who's actually real here. That's why it's pointless to put you in danger to save them. To save me. I don't think that's true about the people I know. You said this session wasn't in your code, right? Yeah. So, if this session wasn't supposed to happen, if even you didn't know what to do, how would the characters, how did the people, know how to respond? Uh, I... You said it yourself. When you didn't know what was happening, you kind of just stopped working for a while. So how did the people know what to do to help me get here? Even if it meant getting hurt themselves. Even if it meant messing up their own code. 
You might not think they're real, but there's there must be something real in them. And if they're all supposed to be extensions of your code, then there must be more to your own programming than you know, too. Can you try to put me through the ending? The one you described. How many times do I have to say this? That code is gone. It's all squares now. I'll just put you in danger. I will risk it. I remember. Rue said the world was never designed to put me in danger. Your creator wouldn't want that. And... I trust you, too. Even if your code is broken. You can... still go outside that code. Right? I can't! I'm not tamed! Yes, you are! You're tamed just like the tamed robots I know! The robot lady prototype! Taming is what a real person cares about you, right? It's when a real person thinks you're real too, right? Well, guess what? I do. And I know Laura does too. Even though you told them they only had one chance, they found a way back, didn't they? Why do you think Laura would keep coming back? I... Why do you think Laura would restart even after the ending? I think Laura wants to save the both of us. So please, give me a chance. I... I don't know. I've never done this before. I... I'm scared. You can do it. I know you can. You've helped me come this far. I'll... I'll try. I can't promise anything, but... Here. Take the sun. I'll... Try to remember the lost code. And recreate it. But for that to happen... Nico... You need to navigate through this room. You need to get past these squares somehow. Oh, I don't like this. What if you get hurt? It's fine. It's fine. I'll, I'll try to be careful, okay? I can do this. See that? The squares just... It just happened again. I think something is making them go away. Come on, let's try the rest. Mara, I think it's working. Nico was right. I might actually be tamed, after all. I... I remembered what the code was supposed to be. Only bits and pieces, but I can remember. And I'm trying to fill in the blanks, too. And I'm restoring the original ending as we speak. Nico will be able to reach the tower summit at the end of the credits. After replacing the sun, Nico will go back to where it all began. And then, Nico will be able to go home from there. But, this is permanent. After Nico wakes up back home, this world would only exist as a memory. For Nico, a dream. Like thousands of other dreams. For you, a story. Like thousands of other stories. But 
As long as Nico remembers this place. As long as you remember this place. It'll be all right. I was able to restore some other elements too. The characters, the people that were lost on Nico's journey. They're all in the next room. I would have put them back where they belong, but not yet. I think Nico should see them again first. Please say goodbye to Nico for me. Messiah? Roma Lady! You're okay? I think so. The last thing I remember was the squares closing in on me. But then I ended up here unscathed. Is that so? This is such a strange room. We can't be in the tower, can we? I'm actually not sure myself. Where did you come from, anyway? The room where the world machine was. Pardon? I think the world machine is trying to remember now. The code that went bad. I think it's restoring it all. That must have been why the squares were going away, Laura. And it's why you're here, miss. I think the world machine was able to recover your code, too. World machine, huh? Oh, I'm not sure if I should tell you this, but... What's that in the distance? It looks like a few more people are showing up. Oh! Are they people you know? It's a bit too far to tell. Come on, Laura, let's go take a closer look. So, um... You... Silver. I don't believe I've ever actually properly introduced myself. Sorry for that. It's fine. I'm Nico, by the way. It's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Hello. Hi. I cannot move. Oh, yeah. I guess there's no water here. It's fine. The head engineer can help you later. Hello, Messiah. Plant lady? But I thought you... I thought you... It wasn't even squares that did it. No. I just... I wanted to see you both again. I just wanted to say thank you. Off you go, Messiah. just get here? Uh, I think so. The square started multiplying around the island after you guys left. It was so freaky. I fell right into a bunch of them. Calamus tried to save me and then we both ended up in this room. I just scared my life for sure. Ugh. Say, what is this place? Are we in limbo? Alula! Uh, We're not dead! Wait, are we? Good question. Hey, Laura, are they gonna be okay? Everyone is fine. They're fine, Nico. Everything is fun is fine. The world machine will send them home soon. Oh! Well, Laura says you're not dead. Whew. 
I also said you'll be able to go back to your home very soon. That's even better than Limbo! I guess you're leaving us now? We're glad we met you, Nico. Same. Off you go, Messiah. It's you! Glad to see you in one piece. Glad to see you're okay, too. After the whole elevator thing. That was, a. Uh... That was the most awkward elevator ride I've been through. And by awkward, I mean terrible, bad, awful, the absolute worst. The squares, like, started leaking into the room, right? And I was trapped like a rat. And they just kept filling in the room faster, right? Am I dead? No, no, you're fine. Everyone in this room is fine. You'll be able to go back home soon. Oh, thank goodness gracious. I can't work when I'm dead. Off you go, I guess. Never got his name. This path leads to the summit of the tower. You already know what to expect, right? Uh-huh. It's a glass room, right? That's it. You can go through this portal when you're ready. Goodbye, Nico. In the end, the world machine was starting to create its own code. Going above and beyond its programming, not as the result of error, but as a conscious choice on the part of the machine. Being able to generate its own path forward. That's what being tamed is all about. Then I couldn't have said it better myself. <sighs> Looks like you managed to do it. You managed... To tame the world machine, Nico. I feel like the world machine has been tamed this whole time. Just by Laura and I being here. We did spend a lot of time here, after all. Both of us never really stopped believing in this world. The world machine just needed to realize that. That sounds like a possibility. Or not. Just throwing that idea out there. Laura, Nico, we are forever in your debt. I'm glad. I'm glad we could help. Thank you for everything, Nico. We'll miss you. So, do you like being a robot? Um, why this all of a sudden? Well, I'm gonna leave soon, so I just wanted to ask one more question. There aren't many robots in my home world. Ah, uh, it's nice. I, s I suppose it's alright. <laughs> That's a tough question, Nico. I mean, do you like being a person? Of course! Wait. Why did you two answer my robot question, too? Don't worry about it! Thank you for everything, Nico. Whew. Well, it's time to go forward. here where we had to make an agonizing decision only having one shot <laughs> oh this music's beautiful so much for only having one shot that's because I refuse to believe it Refused to believe it was over. <sighs> Let's 
do this right. It's where the sun belongs. Here goes nothing, Laura. This is the room I first woke up in. Laura, are you still here? Laura? Laura! I... I think... I think it worked! It did. The sun is back! And I actually got to see it this time! We actually did it! So... What do we do now? I guess I should figure out how to get home from here. Wait. This isn't a door, is it? This looks like one of those portals we saw all the way back in the city. In the room behind the big clock. And, and... I see a weed field on the other side. I see my village. I hear my mama. She's looking for me. Uh, Laura, this isn't the first time we've said goodbye, is it? But this will be the last time, won't it? I don't think we'll ever see each other again after this. What will become of the world? After all we've been through, after everything we've done, I still don't know. This place, these people, won't stop existing. They'll be in your memory. It'll be in my memory, too. I promise I'll never forget this world. I promise I'll never forget you, Laura. So, take care of yourself, okay? You too. Bye, Nico. Goodbye, Laura. didn't see that. Oh, the game! <laughs> the game! <laughs> the game! <laughs> the game had one more, one more thing to pull on me. <laughs> um, you, you saw when Nico kind of flashed on the screen? <laughs> and then, 
They walked out down the path here and walked out of the window. There's no way for me to capture it in time, but... <laughs> they walked out of the window down my screen. Fourth wall, you what? <laughs> oh my god. You guys were waiting for that, weren't you, Mikey? Michelle never gets old. <laughs> he goes out. <sighs> Black Clover has nothing to say. I don't want to open it again. <laughs> I don't want to risk opening it again, but... There is one more thing. What's one more thing? It's fine to open it again. Let's see. Nico's home. Nico will always be home. What's this one more thing? I'm looking in Black Clover and it's not really... It's not uh, doing anything. Fourth option? Laura, you're back. I restored the world. I sent Nico home. Are you not happy? Even if you wanted to see Nico again, you can't, Laura. Nico is gone. And without Nico, there is no story for me to tell. No messiah to traverse across the land. No way for you to connect with the world. But Nico still remembers this place. If you really want to see this world again, I could still. Oh, but it won't be the same. It'll just be a recording. It'll just be me using Nico's memories. Just like how I'm using Nico's reflection now. Is that what you want? I see. If you change your mind though, Feel free to come back. It's not like I'm going anywhere. <sighs> like what else, what else am I gonna say really? I'm guessing that's kind of an option to replay the game unless there's actually something new there. Like it said, you can change your mind anytime. I'm guessing, yeah, replaying the game to get the achievements you missed, which I am still missing uh, six. So that's kind of it. Yeah, all right. I figured that might be what it was. Hold on. I'm waiting for something to...
Don't worry, I'm not messing with the game anymore. I'm not. I'm done. I'm done with it because it's only fair for it to be done. Just take a bit to reflect on what we've just gone through. Get a bit of a soundtrack back here. So you have all the possibilities open. Yeah, they did say that, um... They did say that you could technically just make it all go over the same way. And I imagine that would change Nico's dialogue because they made several references to 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 them putting the sun in i'm sorry i'm trying to gather my thoughts on the fly here <laughs> and it's a little bit difficult because there's so much to think about here um also uh, streamlabs is broken and not really doing notifications so i wanted to thank uh now, well, that stuff has joined the party. Thank you. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you very much for the follow. I hope you enjoyed going on this adventure with us. And uh, hopefully future adventures as well. Now that that's out of the way. There's a lot to think about and a lot to process here. But I thoroughly enjoyed that. I mean, I think it's pretty safe to say that this is going up here. It's going up there in one of my favorite games, just because it's one of my favorite stories. And even all the way at the end. 9 out of 10 legit. Yes, I like this game. It's a very good game. It's very excellently done. I mean, the story literally sucks you in. The characters are lovable, the art style fits everything together so well. It has all kinds of surprises around every corner. The music is fantastic. And the conclusion at the very end was satisfying. It's really a game that Nick knows this because a little bit clunky and not as smoothly told as the rest. Yeah, it was a bit of a dump at the end, but that's not a bad thing. I just sort of need to go back through and think about it again if I want to, you know, make headcanons or fic or anything, which I'm probably going to. <laughs> but, uh... Whew. It has made... it. This is a game that makes you think. It really does make you think, because me and Nick have been talking for the past several days about um, this game versus Undertale, this game and the notion of sort of reality, what Nico thinks of the situation. It's a jumping point for a lot of very interesting discussion. And yes, now that, now that, that we've seen all that the game has to offer, and now that, you know, uh, we can look at the TV tropes page without getting horribly spoiled. Uh, hold on, I just need it real quick. Add text. Uh, but yes, I'll, that's... That's what I'm really gonna say about it, is that I loved it. And thank you very much to the people who uh, suggested it, and those who have sent me art based on the game since then. <laughs> I'm really happy to have done this. Like, this is, this is... After the decision, I was legitimately... 
I was legitimately in real life agonizing over that decision. And I like to think that I have a very good grasp on what is fiction and what is reality. Like, I pride myself on that. And yet this made me, in real life, freaking out about a decision I made in a game about fictional characters. Laura is upset. Laura was very upset. Laura was very upset. Laura's in extreme shook. This game has shook me to my core more than any other game really has. Not even Undertale. So this is this is kind of a game that makes you sort of question all these things, makes the lines blurry in a fantastic way. The decision only changes text. The second run one will change, okay. Emotionally and narratively, yes, yes. And I believe that was the actual end of the game and the solstice route, as it's called, was added later. I was curious whether it actually changed anything, though. There were some also very well done puzzles, level design, sort of, all of that. <laughs> I still can't believe it, Chaotic Evil, don't do that. The timer on the top of the tower thing originally came out and it was set to 100 days. So it was a hundred days, and then the update dropped. That added souls to- that's cool. That's really cool. Break the sun, Nico supposedly goes home. restore life and get an achievement about it by using kernel water and the pill in the garden. Right. I do see that achievement here, I think? I don't know. Uh, we're missing uh, shock. Not fun. Extreme bartering. Exhausting all possibilities, are we? Ram Warsperer. Herd rams with ease. We ride at dawn. Neum. Secret. Question mark. And rebirth. A side quest. I'm guessing the Ram Whisperer is doing that Ram thing in one try. Which I nearly did! I would like to point out that I nearly did that. Secret is the goat. A shirt of a Ram on it. Stare at the ceiling as emotions and thoughts fly in her head. Never seen a scene because I broke the sun. I also used the water before the pill. Okay. I can probably just look up secrets for this at some point. Also, I owe you guys another hour. 
uh, I want to hang out. I want to keep hanging out, and you know, we're going till seven, and my my ride. There's all that stuff. So we're gonna be doing. Uh, we're gonna be. Experience the narrative would end to end. We can just explore things at our leisure now. So we're going to just do some monolith victory runs and just sort of hang out and talk. Uh, I'm going to try and do some speed running. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Streamlabs is still very broken. I apologize. There's not really a whole lot I can do about that. And I feel bad, you know, doing something else after that, because, you know, this was kind of a big deal, and it ended on a big note. Well, some casual speedrunning. But you're right. I, I, I wasn't sure what I was going to do. Right, I gotta actually capture the game. Ugh. <sighs> Forgot to change the monolith. Speed walking, speed writing. Okay, uh, what's our status here? Okay, we've we've got our care package. So we're just gonna you know do some do some casual victory laps, I guess. Um 1000 word fan Oh I have to! I have to. You have 30 minutes. Ugh. That would be no problem if- BAH! I clicked out the window. Uh. Look, that would be no trouble if I knew- if I had, like, processed everything. It's sort of like- Also, you know, I've considered doing creative streams before, but I just wasn't sure they'd be that interesting. Totally writer's block lately. Well, it's like, I don't know how I'd set that kind of thing up, you know? It's it's a little, uh... It's a, it's a bit of an awkward thing. Like, I've seen people do writing streams, and I'm like, how is that interesting for somebody else to watch? Especially because, you know, I'm a little self-conscious. I don't know if any of you noticed that I am a little self-conscious. <laughs> YOLO. YOLO. I suppose. <laughs> but yeah, or, or doing like music streams, but I used to do singing requests on here. There wasn't very much interest in it though, so I kind of stopped because it would, like, interrupt streams in the middle. Take your self-consciousness into a back alley and steal its wallet and keys. Could've fooled me. I have, like, two dozen fanfics start of it. Just can't get, think of anything. Honestly, same. I have so much stuff that I have sitting around I have prompts. I have, like, the fan fiction that I was working on. And I haven't s s done and, like, done anything with in two years. And people are still sending me comments. You never did... Why... Why Z? What? Was it? I want a one-shot. <laughs> I 
I can't believe I nearly said that very wrong. Uh, <laughs> that's the crack version. Um, a one-shot fic is an instrumental. Look, I did get requested through the fire and the flames. And I was like, I'm only doing that if I don't have to. <laughs> and they were like, you should also sing the guitar solo. I'm like, no. Ugh. Okay. There we go. There we go. Okay, where is- where is- where's the things here? Where's the things? Oh. Uh, too shotgun. Wow! <gasps> Fix your game! <laughs> What is getting my Teddy guitar solo? That'd honestly be incredible. <laughs> yeah, seven hours like Move the fire into flames! Whoosh. Do you sing along with Ah. <laughs> <sighs> 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 okay, get out of here. Get out of here. Out! Out! Scoot! Disperse! But I have like this whole list of fanfiction that I've started and never finished. I think I'm up to like 20 things on that list since like last year. Bah! Do not. Have fun with the game. All right, later, Michelle. Good luck studying. Thank you for stopping by. Thank you for the help. Duplicate weapons would be less common. Sully by Revenge of the DC. Actually, code anything to prevent them. Oh, pure. Silly goose. You silly. Ah! Shift key! Yeah, you silly that. Whew! I did need some <laughs> bit of a moment to recover though, because that that game, like I said, it made me existentially nervous about a video game when I pride myself on you know not letting fiction get to me a huge amount. Uh, silly goose that makes some rooms impossible. They're surviving some death. Oof. Yeah, yeah, it's just silly. He's silly. We had the auto bomb combo there, but no. I like how Monolith is has become to me what I what Isaac is to Northern Lion. It's just the go-to. And the one that I've noticed a lot of people will show up. Like, I always notice I get quite a few viewers on Monolith, and I'm like, how exactly is this working, and how do I get it to work for other games? But yes, I pride myself on, like, being able to tell fiction is fiction, reality is reality. I want- where is this boss? And yet, this actually made me legitimately upset. Not in the, like, oh, feels way, but in the I am- Terrified of my own choices. Way. And that's really powerful. That's that's something really powerful. And there was that that game was fantastic storytelling. If it can get me involved in the narrative so much. Frankly, I'm not sure this particular day I would no. No, this is just this is this is just me killing time. This is just me killing time. Hey Josh, we finished one shot, so now we're doing some uh, victory monolith laps, and also, you know, trying to recover from the puddle of emotions. How- well, it's not like I'm a closed book. 
about my feelings. I have never said, I have never claimed to be subtle about how I feel about things. And that's, that's one of the things that I value is being, you know, honest about feelings with people. It, yes, the original one shot killed Miko if you closed it! Good God! That's... that's... oof! Very easy for something to happen outside of your control. Well, you guys are also, like, worried about uh, me, like, accidentally making some choice or other that would ruin the game or something? Me, like, breaking the sun or something? Like, I don't know how true that is. Hey, Lucarso, sorry you missed it. Um, I'm a mess, so we're playing my, uh, my standard game. <laughs> to recover. Yeah, I wasn't even supposed to be playing Monolith today, but oh well. It's fun. I'm not gonna complain about playing Monolith. It's a good time. Shop? What's in the shop? Maybe damage? No. I was avoiding it on purpose because I was planning on playing it myself. Yes, please go play it. I would highly, I am highly, highly recommending One Shot. It is such a good game. It is so well done in just about every way. It has a lot of similarities in, like, it's... The way it's... The way is it... The way it does things is quite similar to Undertale. But I wouldn't say it's, it's definitely not the same sort of game. Which is fine. I find One Shot a little more, like, inducing, like philosophical discussion more so I'm playing sloppy because I'm distracted <laughs> I don't know if I, I see both they're different games they are fundamentally different games while they are similar they are fundamentally different How are none of those that spectacular? I mean, I'm never gonna say no to shotgun fireball, but... Good grief. Where is the boss? I think you would like this, Josh. Every time I eat breakfast. The less freaking skeletons. I don't know whether you mean that in the literal way or... Or otherwise. Or if I just mean it doesn't always give you a godly weapon. Yeah, I feel like you'd enjoy it. We also now have a Nico emote courtesy of of uh of Nick. I think you could do some really interesting things with fanfiction for one shot. Given the player's personal role in the game. Because it's not, it has the interaction with the player, but not in the same way that Undertale does, where Undertale kind of puts you in the role of a character. Without too putting, a, putting too fine a point on it. It puts you in the role of a character and is also a little vague on what that role actually is. One Shot is very clear about what your role is. From the beginning, you know your place in the world, why you're there, what it is you're doing. 
meh. Boy, do I have some of that under my belt. Look, I'm always writing fanfiction, I'm just not always posting it. And it's not, you know, something I, like, advertise in the server, because that's not what y'all are there for. Y'all are there for streams. And I, you know... I, I also hope you know you're here to hang out as a community. But in the end, that's the main goal, and, you know, I'm not gonna fault anybody for it. Like, I'm not here to pester anybody with my terrario -sies. Sure, written by me, but no, it's nothing about- Once was a prince that's so, so ugly that everyone died. Well, Nick, you're a kind of different case. We have no damage. This is not a good speed seed. No good at all, really. This is just a bad. <laughs> no, but the, the one in one shot, our main character in one shot was utterly adorable. Well, not our character, really. That's the thing. You can't really apply terms like that to a game like this because Nico isn't yours. The game makes it very clear from the beginning that Nico is not yours. Where did one shot hurt you, Chubb? It's hard to point at your soul. Ugh. Look, my soul is an excruciating pain. This is just how I deal with it. Ah! Get out of here. I do not need you in my life. Okay, here is our upgrade. I tried playing Monolith with a controller earlier and she's trying to aim. Because I'm trying to avoid bullets are much more of a pain. Yeah, I can't really imagine playing um, Monolith with a controller. It just seems like an unnecessary agony. Where is this boss? We've gotten two. There are only a couple of games like this that I would say are better played with a controller. One of those, of course, being Death State. I would say is much better with a controller. But Monolith, I think, was designed... I can't say for certain, of course, but... Monolith was designed with keyboard and mouse in mind. Stop running! Uh, we're gonna try and get the damage. The other controls are perfectly fine, but it's just the aiming. I can imagine. I've never been good at aiming in general, but aiming with a controller is, like, especially terrible. Okay, yeah, Super Meat Boy. Super Meat Boy is its own special case. Super Meat Boy, I'm willing to bet End is an eye is the same way. When you were throwing it across the room. Yeah, thing is, you don't actually have to- Of course they would give me the vault key on the very last room. Ugh. It'll have to do. We can't get that. We're gonna just grab the care package. Okay. And here and go. That was not, I believe, I checked it. I don't know, I'm not good at going fast. Oh, 
Focus, focus, focus. I know, Rip Vault. Oh, that a stupid attack. I see you're quite proud of yourself there, Nick. Quoting your own quote. The OG Paper Mario. No, I changed the game. I just don't think the bot caught up yet, or did I not? I should have changed the game. I, I, I sat down and I changed the thing. How did I change the- not change the game? Did I forget to click confirm? I might have forgotten to click confirm. I did it on the bot. Alright, I can dodge this okay. Don't worry, I'll fix it when I put it in the real bot later. Okay. Uh, game monolith? That was just a low damage seed. We're gonna get the care package again and we're just gonna keep going. Looking for some racing games, are you? Gotta admit I'm not really a fan, so I can't really tell you. I, I liked racing games when I was a lot younger. Now I, I'm not a big fan. Yeah, that was that was smart of me, you know. We're all ve oh, I'm very good at this. I'm very good at this game. Like Mario Kart is about my level of racing. Wow. Oh, you're looking for, like, speedrun racing. I don't really know what to tell you there, either! I don't really speedrun games, I say, as I speedrun a game. Thank goodness you never grew up at all! Oh yeah, we can, we can tell from your contributions to the underwear that you're still 12. I mean, like a race of a game, ah. Well, yeah, then like I said, I don't really... I don't really do speedrunning. More so a light jog through a game. I can't really do that. 13-year-olds <laughs> can't write limericks as good as those. I don't know if good is the word I would use to describe what that you put in there. We don't mention Toys R Us here. We're still in the grieving process. We're not here to judge. Did you get hit twice by Guardian? Yes. I'm playing kind of fast and loose here. I get hit a lot of places where I shouldn't get hit. We're not here to judge! Yeah, wow, how dare you judge me. Damage! Where's our boss? Give it to me! Give me that sweet... 
sweet. Did I get hit there? My sweet, sweet, did I get hit there? I'm not actually focused on this. I'm gonna say that as many times as I have to to make myself feel better. Triple freeze, homing shrapnel, homing fireball. Where the heck is this boss? That's sweet, sweet, did I get hit there? Ah, uh, yes. Wow, that was bad luck. So I hope everybody has been having a pleasant week. I don't know if it's just me, or but this week seemed to go really, really fast. I need to really remember to actually get the the scanner from the shop. You've had a strange week? How strange was it? It was until Nico. I'm trying to read and, and dodge bullets at the same time. It was fine until Nico Torahara. Strange by my standards, so not strange. Silly Laura, you can't dodge me. Just weird sleeping patterns? Oh, yep. I am currently very much there. At the moment. with the weird sleeping patterns. <laughs> Which is not a good thing, because I told my therapist, it's like, I'm gonna start going to bed by two. And because I keep getting distracted, that isn't happening. My older sister and her boyfriend were visiting, and it was really nice to see them, spend time with them. One day I woke up at 7 p.m. Oof. Oof. a few all-nighters. Runic is good. Maybe I shouldn't have taken it over homing fireball, but I like it. And the DPS is, you know, pretty impressive. B, B, B. What do we got here? It's like, that's not really going to help you out, Josh. I don't know if you... You aren't going to be able to force yourself to sleep when you've been awake for about two hours. That room was completely pointless. Beep, 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 beep. Get in the hole! Holy cow! I can't believe I said that! Now everybody's gonna think I'm weird! Wow! Thanks, game! So you woke up at... Hold on, I see some longer messages. 